Now I want to ask a question. I want to ask a future question. A future. In future, who will be more street to the kids? Street. Wow. Ah, Ogari is a Peggy. Peggy. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Who eat the most? Eat. <laughs> Who's the best driver? Who drive rough the most? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> wow! I couple. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, you guys are going for an appointment. Who delay most for going out? First time in the history. Mad it. <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, now I want to ask a very controversial question. Now, this is the question. Who are the most annoying friends? <laughs> Hello? Oh, we are waiting for you. Your wife don't raise you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He shocked you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, politically correct. That's beautiful. Okay, now, let's ask a love question. That's the last question. This is the question. In the whole wide world, who do you love the most? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, to crown it all, you guys are actors, right? Now, let's have a scene. Of French kiss. You are shooting right now. Let's oh yeah now hey. drop your shoe. Drop your shoe. But oh, you guys are Bex actor, right? Now give us the role of French kissing. Uh, it's been quite a journey. Woo! With you. I saw you one time in the end. I just knew it was you. Aww. But then the human in me kept fighting. <laughs> fighting very hard to resist. Quiet, please. Thank you. Quiet, please. But the human in me kept fighting what would later become my truth. Those who are close to us know the truth. It's been seven years with you, baby. Someone asked me today, why you? I told the person that I'm not just good looking. I'm a superstar and I'm one of the finest men in Africa. But, but, that also means that I have been with all kinds of women. But in the last 10 years, Peggy is the only person that I have realized that I just cannot leave without. Hold on, people. As much as we talk love, as much as we want to say the fancy things, I really like you. You know how I get when you want to drive out and go for an appointment? I get asking, ah, babe, so you're going out now? Babe, you're leaving now? It's not like you're doing anything for me. I just want you around the house. Most times you're downstairs monopolizing the remote as always, and I'm upstairs. But knowing that you're downstairs, you're just in that house, gives me peace. When I made up my mind to get married, I was looking out for companionship. I wasn't looking for a wife. I was looking for a soulmate and a best friend. You have been my best friend for the longest. And that is why even when we fight, both of us cannot foolishly live without each other. You're not coming, eh, hey, babe, light has finished though. And I, eh, I'll send you the pin. Just because we miss ourselves, baby, I am going to hold your hands even when we're 90. I love you. 
Shields. Even God knows that I love you. Oh. With all of my heart, baby. Even everything to me. Like you are my friend. Do you understand? Like you're my dad. You're my dad. The kind of gossip we gossip. The kind of gist. But then you inspire me. I was not feeling Lord when you met me. But you looked at me and told me you're gonna star. Keep up to it. Keep doing your thing, baby. You'll be great. Today I'm a national treasure. But when I look by my side, you have to be that woman beside me. You are my everything, baby. And I'm happy to call you Mrs. Leonard. Even though you don't understand what is happening here, put your hands together for the place. Wow. Wow. This is the first rubuget that is very emotional. This is a round of applause for her once again. Uh -uh. That's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful one. That's a beautiful one. Beautiful one. Uh -huh. Which was like. Okay. Uh, please. Uh, Peggy. I know you have something to say to us. Let's go. It's tough. It's short. It's short. And then I'll. I don't know what to say, but Frederick, you and I met years back. Something short. And. First, I was on a movie set and I was new. I just sat in one corner and all the top actors were just oppressing me. Frederick walked past me and said, Are you okay? Are you okay? And it was the first time somebody was asking me if I was Aww. okay. So I was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, I'm fine. So we passed. And then on another day, I saw Frederick. I wanted to shoot a movie. And you know, the director, AGK, hey, are you here? God bless you. Um, and he insisted that Frederick would play the role. So Frederick came, and Frederick, Frederick just was there for me. Um, as entertainers, we all know that people always, um, they're always selfish. They think of just themselves. But Frederick was just one person that just wanted everything to go right even though he didn't know me. So after that movie, I called him up and I said, can you tell me more about yourself? Aww. And then he told me and I was inspired. Babe, I don't want to go through everything. You, have, you and I have been through a lot. It's been a lot of struggles. It's been a lot of breakups as well. <laughs> um, You've gone, I've gone, I've come back, you've come back. You are like a father to me, but my father is here and I love you, daddy. I love you, mommy. <laughs> but Frederick is, Frederick is my best friend, even though he can be very controlling. <laughs> Uh, but Frederick loves me. I've seen you fight so many people for me. I've seen you say, I've seen people say, why not an evil girl? And I've seen you say, it is big. And for that, my husband. I will love you. I will learn to be a better woman. Babe, I will never be perfect. I will still fight you. <laughs> I will still protect you. I have protected, protected you from the first day we met. When I met Frederick, Frederick was not this female that everybody knows. 
But I see on the internet and everybody say, Peggy, you're lucky, Peggy, you're lucky. People don't know what I've been through. I have stood by this man. But most importantly, I have met a man who says, Peggy, I will take care of you. Be patient. He promised me that he's going to spoil me. And Frederick has been spoiling me silly. And I just hope that this goes out to the internet. Every girl should be patient. I have been patient. I have always been a hardworking woman. All my friends know. You you understand. Um, but when I met Frederick, I saw a man that was willing to to make money. I saw a man that is not a womanizer. And most importantly, that is why I stayed for this small babe. Please don't change. Frederick is one man I can beat my chest on, despite what everyone is saying, that he doesn't womanize. That's true. Sometimes I get on his nerves and he thinks that I'm taking him for granted. Maybe I'm not. I'm just a woman. We can be silly sometimes. But I will love you. I will respect you. Amen. You will always be the crown on my head. You will be the man I ask for decisions before I make it. To everybody that you have fought my case for, God will fight your case for you. Amen. Thank you for waking up in the morning and saying, babe, let's pray. Frederick, as much as you look good, you make me want to love God the more. Frederick doesn't stop praying. Sometimes I feel bad that I don't pray enough. <laughs> Frederick wakes up in the morning, he prays. He wakes up at night, he's praying. And I said, this is a good man. And when I met Frederick, small team, he had a girlfriend. But then I looked at his future and I said, this guy is going to make it. Peggy, stay. And so tomorrow, Frederick asked me, how did you know that I will get here? So to everybody, every young lady out there, if you have a guy that you like, you love him, he doesn't have money, please stay. Hey, Listen to him, encourage him. That is all that I have done all these years. I don't want to get any. It got to, it got to a point. I thought that Frederick would not marry me. I'm like, Frederick, I'm a fine girl. You're wasting my time. <laughs> and he'll be like, Wait, 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 wait. I know there are rich guys chasing you. I will marry you. And babe, this has been a long journey. You will always be my best friend. Amen. If we don't fight, who will I fight with? <laughs> Frederick will be shooting. I will call him for minor things. He said, babe, I'm shooting. I say, hey, what, what do you want me to tell? Thank you for being a brother to me. Thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being my supporter. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for not seeing me as um, someone who is not from your tribe, but you yet, babe. I remember when I met Frederick, everybody like, he will not marry, he's an Anambra guy, you Anambra people don't marry robots. <laughs> but Frederick has kept to his promise. And babe, in front of the world and everyone that is witnessing today, I want to say that from the belly of my heart, from, from the deepest, deepest of her, baby, you know I'm not a long talker like you, but you know that I love you. Thank you for planning our finance. Thank you, thank you for making, making sure that we grow together. 
Thank you for holding my hands and say, babe, you are going to make a big mistake. Don't do this. I appreciate you. I'll always be a stubborn girl. You have to deal with it for the rest of your life. You will always be a stubborn man, and I will deal with it for the rest of life, my life. But I will never cheat on you. I know that's your biggest fear. I want to say that God has blessed us. You and I know that God has blessed us. And we are grateful to God. He has blessed you. He has blessed me. And I want you to know that I love you. I will always love you. No matter what happens. As will be different. Amen. They say entertainers' marriage don't last. We don't last. We will be an inspiration to the younger ones. Amen. <laughs> we would love each other. We will show people how it is to love one another. Amen. We will have the number of kids we want. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and for everyone that is here to witness our love, thank you. It's been seven years. Seven years now. And Frederick Leonard, I am now your wife. I love you and God bless you for me. Amen.